students this is engineer Akib Ahmad from department of civil engineering UTB shower so today we will uh, proceed for further uh, tutorial in Plaxis 3d connect edition uh, so now we will starting the new chapter of Plaxis 3d tutorial that is excavation in sand so today's topics will be a little bit interesting and more uh, detailed project it will be so this tutorial basically describes the construction of an excavation pit in soft clay and sandy layers there are multiple layers of uh, uh, soil here in this project so uh, and the excavation will be done and we will analyze this excavation so here also we will uh, create anchors walls uh, wallings and struts uh, to prevent the pit from the collapsing of soil now after full excavation an additional surface load uh, will be applied uh, on one side of the pit uh, so our this project will be more interesting now I divided these uh, this project into four uh, four or five tutorials parts. Uh, first of all, we will uh, create a borehole with multiple layers and also create materials, uh, soil materials, or different soils fill that is fill and sand, soft clay and sand, etc. The learning objective uh, for today's tutorial will be. Uh, uh, creating borehole with multiple layers and also uh, different soils with the hardening soil model uh, using interface features defining over consolidated ratio uh, and etc some other objectives also uh, we will learn some other uh, points uh, in further tutorial so first of all start a new project we'll enter as x Excavation in sand. We will click OK. So the model type will be full elements noted. Length and uh, force time uh, unit will be same. So for contour, we have a uh, 80 meter uh, by 50 meter boundary condition so I want to the origin to be in my center in the center of the uh, whole project uh, boundary condition so I will enter is uh, 80 so divide by 2 minus 40 and plus 40 uh, y minimum is minus 25 and y maximum will be 25 we'll click next okay so our boundary condition is assigned now after that we have to create a borehole so create a borehole click here in the center so yes it is in the center so here the head level will be at minus 4 meter and we will having three layers one two three four so we will be having three layers starting from uh, zero to minus one it is the fill material from minus one to minus nine point five minus nine point five and from minus nine point five another layer uh, will get start and that will be uh, minus 11 at minus 11 which is soft clay now after that this last layer is at minus 20 and it is a sand so this is uh, the our borehole consists of four layers now after that we have to set materials for different soil so we will click on the material set data soil and interface is new uh, so our first uh, material soil uh, is fill f i w -L, l fill and our material model will be a hardening soil model hardening soil 
and drainage type will be drained. These all properties are given in the Plaxis uh, 3D tutorial manual. So don't worry about that. That uh, from where uh, uh, this uh, I selecting these or taking these values. So these are all uh, mentioned in Plaxis 3D. Don't worry about that. So drainage type drained for uh, general properties. So gamma unsaturated it is uh, 16 for fill 16 gamma saturated is 20 sorry 20 okay so now these are the advanced so we will not enter these properties now after parameters so we will have uh, to enter different parameters that is uh, e50 uh, E50 is basically the secant stiffness of a uh, consolidated drain triaxial test and uh, the tangent odometer stiffness E odometer that is tangent uh, odometer stiffness and unloading and reloading stiffness E uh, unloading reloading reference so for fill materials the E50 is 2.2 multiplied by 2.2 multiply by 10 raised to power uh, 4 now e odometer it is 2.2 10 raised to power 4 and uh, e auto uh, e uh, unloading and reloading stiffness for fill material is 6.6 uh, Six point six ten raised to power four. Okay. Now the power meter it is zero point five. It power for stress level dependency of stiffness. And after that we have to enter the cohesion. So cohesion for the film material is one. Now angle of internal friction for fill material is 30 and dilatancy angle is 0 so this is ok yes so fill material uh, 30 and this 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 we entered that now stiffness material advanced properties we have to enter the Poisson's ratio which is 0 0.2 uh, so our uh, so the Poisson ratio is uh, okay. Now cannot OCR and etc etc will enter in uh, groundwater interfaces. So for interfaces we will select standard okay rigid manual and we will enter as for fill material the interface uh, is our interface is zero point six five okay now initial so the cannot settings it is cannot determination so cannot is kept automatic 0 0.5 and the OCR value for fill is 1 and pour uh, pre overburden pressure this POP means pre overburden pressure on this fill is 0 so okay now our fill material is successfully created now after that we will enter another material uh, that will be sand for sand the material model will be hardening soil the drainage type for the sand will be drained okay it's okay now color you have to if you want to change the color so you can change the color now gamma unit rate unsaturated unit rate for the sand is 17 and saturated is 20 okay for parameters so e50 for uh, sand is uh, 4.3 4.3 10 raised to power 4 and e odometer for this is uh, 2 2.2 2.2 10 raised to power 4 
and e unloading, uh, unloading and reloading for this send material is 1.29 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 5 1.29 10 raised to the power 5 okay yes that's okay now after that the power uh, for stress level dependency of stiffness it is kept 0 0.5 cohesion for sand is 1 angle of internal friction for this sand is 34 and the dilutancy angle is 4 for this sand okay so the Poisson's ratio and these are also selected by default now interface so for interface we have to select this rigid as manual and I want here it is mentioned is 0.7 our interface okay now cannot procedure so the cannot is automatic and it is yes it is okay now OCR for this sand will be 1 and pre overburden pressure for this sand is 0 so okay now our second material is created successfully now third material which is soft clay and the model for this will be hardening soil and drainage type for the soft clay is undrained a undrained and short term material we have in which stiffness and strength are defined in terms of effective properties a large bulk stiffness for water is automatically applied to make the soil as a whole incompressible and excess pore water pressure are calculated even above the periodic level. So here the case is selected as 100A. Now unit weight for the soft clay is uh, 16 and for unsaturated is saturated is 17 and unsaturated is 16 now parameters so parameter is 2 uh, multiplied by 10 raised to power 3 uh, and uh, this is the tangent automator is also 2000 and uh, uh, e unloading and reloading is 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 multiplied by 10 raised to power Four. Okay. So the CC now after that we have to enter the strength parameters that is cohesion so cohesion for this and also we have to enter here is one the power it is mentioning uh, tutorial now strength parameters we have to enter the cohesion uh, cohesion for this soft clay which is 5 angle of internal friction is 25 dilutancy angle is 0 and Poisson's ratio is 0 0.2 it's okay so yes and interface so the interface uh, will be 0 0.5 annual 0 0.5 and okay now initial cannot procedure now we have to enter the cannot value for this it's automatic and it is calculated as 0 0.7 now OCR for this is 1.5 1.5 and uh, POP pre overburden pressure is 0 0.00 and here you can see that cannot is changed to 0. Point seven four one one so now our soft clay is created successfully okay so these are our materials now we have to assign materials so at top it is fill now at the second layer is sand the third layer is soft clay and the fourth layer is again sand and uh, the head level is minus four meter in this you can see that we have created the borehole and the soil stratigraphy is defined successfully so for now it is enough we will continue our project in other tutorials so thank you for listening 
and kindly like the video and subscribe the channel which will more, uh, motivate us so please subscribe the channel and like the video thank you